Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these powerful emotional titles over any image using any text directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go to File, Blank Presentation, Layout Blank. We'll quickly add in our first background image. So we'll right click on the background, go to Format Background, Picture or Texture Fill, Insert Stock Images. Then we can type anything we want. And I just used this image. Now let's add in our big text. So we'll click on the text box, click anywhere, type the word we want. And I made my text Poppins and 170 point and bold. And then aligned it to the center and the middle of the page. And we can make it white so we can see what we're doing. But ultimately, it'll be a cutout. So it doesn't matter at this stage really what color it is, as long as you can see it to work with it. So now let's add our darken layer over the whole image. And for that, we're going to use a rectangle. We can click anywhere. I'm going to make this black with no outline and 50% transparent. Then move it to the top left corner and size it down to the whole screen. Then right click and choose center back. So this already is a great technique for adding text over an image where you want to knock the image back slightly. You can also adjust the brightness. But with this technique, I'm going to show you a great way how you can cut the text out to really make it pop over the top of the slide. And so what we're going to do now is effectively turn the text into a shape. And I'm going to duplicate my slide just in case I want to go back and change the text in the future. So I'll press Control D while on the slide. And now I can work on this slide and always be able to go back and edit the text on slide one if I want to. So I click on the text, hold down Control and Shift and drag it off. And then I click on the text I want to keep, shift click on the other text and simply go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes and choose Subtract. I think this is the quickest way of turning this into a shape. The text now is not editable, but it allows you to add some good effects such as the one I'm just about to show you. So here the magic happens when you go to the fill options and you can choose any color gradient or picture here, but you can also choose slide background fill. And because we set this photo as our background, as soon as you click this, you get this really nice effect. That looks great, but we can also add some animation if we want to go from the full color image to this nice text effect. But first, let's make some very quick variations to the text and the image. So we can go back to our slide with the editable text, press Control D to duplicate, type in anything we want, align it to the center, hold down Control and Shift and drag it up, and then select the text you want to keep first, and then Shift select the other text. And remember to go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes and Subtract, and then choose Slide Background Fill. And now we can right click on the background, Format Background and change the picture. We can choose any image you like. In my example, I chose this one and that gives a really powerful, nice text effect easily made in PowerPoint. And normally this is something that you might think you have to use something like Photoshop to create, but with this clever technique, we can do it inside PowerPoint. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can animate this text on with some nice effects. So we'll go onto this slide. I'll zoom out slightly. I'll select my black rectangle, hold down Control and Shift and drag it from the corner and expand it to about there. And this is just so that I can soften up the edges and it will still cover the image. So I can now go to Effects, Soft Edges, choose something like 30 point, And you can see that the rectangle still covers the whole image. Now I can go to Animations and I'm going to add Motion Path which is down here, line, so it will just, at the moment, by default, go down slightly. But I'm going to reverse this, so I'll click on Effect Options and reverse the path direction, so now it goes up. But I want to make the start position off the screen, so I'm going to zoom out a bit by holding down Control and turning my mouse wheel. Then I click on this little red dot, hold down Shift, and just drag it off the screen. And then finally, we have to add one more animation, which is a fade. And this is just to stop it from starting visible, because if we run it now, it will start and then animate up. 
but we want it to actually not be there at the start. And to do that, we can just add animation fade, then go into the animation pane. And I want to make sure the fade comes first and then the motion path comes with the fade. And we can do that by changing start to with previous on the motion path. And there's one final thing I want to do. If you double click on the motion path, you can drag this smooth end up to two seconds and that gives it a smooth finish. So now we can reveal the entire image, click and it fades over this really nice effect to reveal the text. And for this other variation, if you want to keep it super simple, you can add something like a basic fade and then set the duration to something quite slow because I think that looks good, such as three seconds. We'll play from this slide and then as I click fade, the text will reveal over the top of the image. I think this is a great and powerful text effect that can be applied to any image. The text can be easily changed. The background image can be easily changed and it can really take your PowerPoint to the next level. If you'd like to download any of the recent tutorials, the source files are available from the Patreon link in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.